Bobby Keane, have you had a chance to exchange messages yet or talk at all? Um, not yet. Uh, obviously, we just came in last night, so I'm not spoken to Robbie yet. Um, yeah, he's flying, but you know, um, I saw his goal the other day, but nothing really surprises me because obviously I was, you know, I played with Robbie for a number of years at Tottenham, and even before I played with him, you know, I always knew about Robbie, uh, someone who came on the scene on the scene at such a young age. But yeah, just a natural goal scorer. You know, wherever he goes, he'll score goals. And but I've not actually had a chance to to speak to him yet. Beautiful weather down here in LA compared to it getting a little bit colder in Toronto. Does it make it easier to get up for training, get up for uh, the game tomorrow in this kind of heat? Yeah, it's nice. Obviously, it's different. Um, the heat and that. But um, yeah, it's nice. You know, when it's bright mornings, you want to get up and you want to train, you want to be outside. We had a good training session just then, so um, everyone looks sharp and bright. Um, and yeah, everyone's looking forward to the game. It's going to be a big one. You look to have great training sessions all week long, and word came out that you're feeling much better. How do you feel personally heading into tomorrow's match? Yeah, I feel good. Um, I feel fit. Um, in terms of fitness and stuff, I feel fine. Uh, my legs feel strong, so yeah, and I feel sharp. I think for me, the most important thing is my sharpness. I feel sharp. I feel like I can, you know, get my shots off in training and stuff. So um, I think the sharpness was the is the key thing for me for how I play. So um, yeah, I feel sharp in training, so I'm I'm happy. Going into the first game of the season against Seattle, everyone talked about how it was one of the toughest places to play against one of the toughest teams, and we all remember the the two goals you gave Toronto FC. Is this the same kind of thing where another big game, another big team yeah, that, that you really come out and shine in those opportunities? Yeah, I think um, I think when you play against the bigger teams, that's that's the test. Um, obviously, no respect to the lesser teams, but you know every game is going to be difficult. But, but you know when you play against the, the bigger teams, you know that's the test. And I think it's important for players to sort of like step up to the plate and, and give it everything. And uh, I think as, as a professional, you know, um, you want to play against the big teams. You want to showcase your skills against you know the, the best players and and that's it so yeah I suppose it's, it is that it is like that game in many ways you know they're a top team a team that's doing well got good players experienced players and everyone's looking forward to their game you know um, obviously if I can contribute and, and nick a couple goals or a goal that'd be that'd be good but I think the most important thing for us is to, to, to get the points that we need um, to win the game and uh, you know it doesn't matter who scores but just to, to win the game is important. German, who's coming to LA how's your Spanish? My Spanish? Yeah. I didn't do Spanish at school. Never? No, I did French. <laughs> you did French. So my Spanish is... Um, you just did all about I was going to say average, but even less than that, <laughs> to be honest. So, Needing the points, how hard is uh, facing a team like Galaxy? Like, at home, they scored too much goals. Yeah, they score a lot of goals, create a lot of chances. They've got good players. We've watched the video. Um, we've got a good game plan, so hopefully it'll work. Um, but I think if we, if we stick to the game plan and, and what the manager wants us to do, then then hopefully, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll stop them from getting any chances. And, uh, and when we get our chances, we've got to make it count. It's important that, especially being on the road, away from home, if you get the chances, you've got to take the chances because when you come to a place like this, if you, if you get the chances, you don't take it, then you get punished. Um, when they played against New York, I remember watching the game, New York had a lot of chances, um, didn't really take the chances, and, and then obviously you get punished. So, yeah, um, it's important that you know, we stick together, work hard, and be patient at times in the game. And uh, and hopefully win the game. Uh, I know they ask you already. Uh, sure, I know they ask you already about Robbie Keane, and we ask him, hey, what do you feel, German Jones coming over here? He's, I mean, German the phone, and, and he said, I'm glad he's coming. I wish he'd not play. What would you say to him before the game and after the game? I wish he don't play. <laughs> 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 no, but uh, yeah, it was Robbie. Like I said, like I mentioned before, he's a top player. Um, I played with him for a lot of years at Tottenham. He scored a lot of goals. Um, good movement, really clever. Um, an experienced player still at international and uh, you know he's someone that if, if he gets a chance he can finish you know he needs one chance to score so it's important that we sort of like try and keep him out of the game as much as we can um, but they've got other players as well obviously we've got Landon Donovan who again is a good player really bright sharp uh, but yeah I suppose if you try and keep Robbie out of the game as much as possible then you stand a good chance